a Wikividi Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Attila Attila, frequently called Attila the Hun, was the ruler of the Huns from 434 until his death in March 453. He was also the leader of a tribal empire consisting of Huns, Ostrogoths, and Alans among others, on the territory of Central and Eastern Europe. During his reign, he was one of the most feared enemies of the Western and Eastern Roman empires. He crossed the Danube twice, and plundered the Balkans, but was unable to take Constantinople. His unsuccessful campaign in Persia was followed in 441, by an invasion of the Eastern Roman Empire, the success of which emboldened Attila to invade the West. He also attempted to conquer Roman Gaul, crossing the Rhine in 451 and marching as far as Aurelianum before being defeated at the Battle of the Catalonian Plains. He subsequently invaded Italy, devastating the northern provinces, but was unable to take Rome. He planned for further campaigns against the Romans, but died in 453. After Attila's death, his close advisor, Ardaric of the Gepids, led a Germanic revolt against Hunnic rule, after which the Hunnic Empire quickly collapsed. Appearance and Character There is no surviving first-hand account of Attila's appearance, but there is a possible second-hand source provided by Jordanes, who cites a description given by Priscus. Some scholars have suggested that this description is typically East Asian, because it has all the combined features that fit the physical type of people from Eastern Asia, and Atila's ancestors may have come from there. Other historians also believe that the same descriptions were also evident on some Scythian people. Etymology The origin of the name, Attila, is unclear, and there is no consensus among scholars. Otto J. Mainkenhelfin considered an East Germanic origin. Attila is formed from the Gothic or Jepidic noun Atta, father, by means of the diminutive suffix Illa, meaning, little father. The Gothic etymology can be tracked up to Jacob Grimm, and Wilhelm Grimm in the early 19th century. Mainkenhelfin noted that Hunnic names were, not the true names of the Hun princes and lords. What we have are Hunnic names in Germanic dress, modified to fit the Gothic tongue, or popular Gothic etymologies, or both. Peter Heather who strongly considered Germanic etymology of the name Attila and some of noble Huns, stated that the possibility Attila was of Germanic ancestry cannot be ruled out. The names of Attila's brother Bleda, and most powerful minister one Agesius, also have hypothetical Germanic etymology. The only credible Germanic etymologies are, for Attila's blood relative Lordricus, and the Hun Goth Ragnaris. Hyun Jin Kim argued that the Germanization of Hunnic names may have been a conscious policy among the Hunnic elite in the West in order to ease the transition to their rule of formerly independent German tribal unions. In the western part of Hunnic Empire, where mostly lived subjected Gothic tribes, Huns probably spoke both Hunnic and Gothic language, and as such bore Germanized or Germanic name, like Lordericus. Mainkenhelfin also expressed concern over orthography of the writer possible morphological change, that some names writers heard from the Goths, the tendency of Roman and Byzantine writers to alter foreign names, and manuscript corruption. However, Kim noted that those names considered by Heather to be Gothic, especially in this case of Attila and Bleda, have more natural and probable Turkic etymology. Heather also ignored the fact that all Hunnic rulers before Attila, as well his father Munzuk, paternal uncles Okta, Ruger, and Ebasius, Wife Krika, father-in-law Eskamp, and sons Elek, Dengizic, and Ernak, have names of Turkic origin. Omlian Prizak considered Tau Tau Lambda Alpha a composite title name which derived from Turkic S, and T Eel, and the suffix slash A slash, the stressed back syllabic till assimilated the front member S, so it became as. It is a nominative, in form of Atil. Brought to you by Wikividi Documentaries. Would you like to know more?